This is a dead lithium iron battery. And as you can see on the meter, we have a voltage of 0, 0.0 volts. So in this video, I'm going to show you an easy step on how you can revive a dead lithium iron battery. So please be a part of our channel by clicking on that subscribe button, because in our next video, we're going to build a fully functional battery from scratch. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you might miss out. So hit that subscribe button and let's get started. So let's look at the lithium ion battery. So a lithium ion battery has what is called a CID, which has a top disc and insulator, a bottom disc and a tap. So this setup works more like a pressure relief valve. When you overcharge your lithium ion battery and the pressure inside the battery is up to 145 PSI, the top disc of the CID will move upwards detaching itself from the bottom disc. And at this point, we have zero volts on the battery. So in order to revive the battery, all we need to do is push down the top disc in order to release the pressure. And when we do that, the top disc will then attach itself back to the bottom disc and then collect the positive voltage. So now let's try this out and see if it actually works. And so guys, as you can see here, we have a voltage of 3.31 volts on the meter. And so now we're just going to bridge the battery and show you how powerful it is. And as you can see here, the battery still has a good amount of power in it. And so we're going to do this for the 18650 lithium iron battery. And as you can see on the meter, the battery doesn't work. And so we're going to use this flat two to press downwards against the CID. And remember not to punch a hole through the CID or else you lose the battery. And also remember to do this in a well ventilated area because the gas coming out of the battery is highly flammable. So do this for the four holes and sometimes you might hear a pressure relief sound and sometimes you might not. So use your multimeter to measure the voltage and see if it's properly working. And as you can see here, we have a voltage of 2.97 volts. And so let's try this out one more time again with another battery and with the meter connected. And so guys, as you can see here, it works. So we have a voltage of 2.92 volts. And so now we connected a, an LED as our load to show you how it works. And as you can see here, it works perfectly well. So guys, in our next video, we're going to build a fully functional battery from scratch. And stay tuned for that video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Stay creative and stay safe. Goodbye.